to yesterday. This is Salisbury Hall in Preston and it's home to one of the most famous ghosts in Lancashire, the White Lady. In fact, so many people have seen her here at the house and by the road that she's even got a police record. The 14th century Salmsbury Hall is renowned to be one of the most haunted country houses in Britain. This is largely due to the frequent sightings of just one ghost, Lady Dorothy Southworth. She is known locally as the White Lady and has been reported moving through the house and grounds as well as across the main road. Local paranormal researcher Jason Carl agreed to take me on a tour. Michaela, nice to see you. Welcome you? to Sarnesbury Hall. Oh, come on in. Come in. So, Michaela, come into the parlour, a beautiful room in what is one of Lancashire's most famous haunted houses and certainly home to one of Lancashire's most famous ghosts. And that's the White Lady. It is indeed. Now, the White Lady's story is a fascinating one and concerns a young member of the Southworth family who were uh, resident in this house. In fact, their family built it in 1325. And a young member of the de Horton family based in Horton Tower about a mile away. Now, what actually happened was that a young member of the de Horton family fell in love with a young member of the Southworth family called Dorothy Southworth, and it wasn't allowed. Their family was staunchly Protestant and the family here was staunchly Catholic. So what actually occurred was they would have secret liaisons meeting in the woods and fells between the two halls. Now, Dorothy's brothers found out about this. They weren't happy about it. So they set up a plot to kill, to murder, the young de Horton. Unfortunately for him, he brought his two uh, soldiers along with him. Outside, the brothers met him. Clip, clop, clip. End of him and buried just outside this window. In fact, the remains were discovered in the gravel just outside here. That is a real Romeo and Juliet story, isn't it? It is, and that's the key. It is a real story. This is all historically documented. But more importantly, the contemporary sightings of that ghost known as the White Lady don't just take place here inside the house, but also on the road, which is just over there, a very busy A road. So this is a ghost that doesn't just stick in the house. It actually wanders around. It does, and of course that would be because when she was alive, she would be having these secret liaisons with her lover from the de Horton household, Horton Tower. So she is replaying, if you like, what occurred all those years ago. And so do people see her in the road a lot? In fact, that is the most common place that people see her. Now, this has happened so many times over the years that many motorists have actually contacted the police force thinking that they have knocked somebody over. They've seen a dashing woman coming into the road dressed in white. They think they've hit her, stopped the car, and there's nobody there. Now, in a panic, they're worried about this, so they called the police force. The White Lady is not only one of the most famous ghosts in Lancashire, if not the most famous, but also one of the oldest. And in fact, her ghost it dates back many hundreds of years. Now, you often find with ghost stories that over time, like a battery, they seem to fade away, that perhaps something that was seen hundreds of years ago is now only heard or perhaps even felt. But that's not what happens here at Salisbury Hall, because we still have modern contemporary accounts of this manifestation, this figure, this full apparition being seen, and people thinking it's a real person. Now, this room in the house is where one of the most dramatic sightings of the White Lady actually took place. It's an amazing room, as you can see. Uh, and it's in a great performance space. Often what takes place in here is uh, enactments of historical plays. And that's what happened in the 1970s. Now, the story says that the members of the cast, the troupe, if you like, were rehearsing the play in here. The dressing rooms were just through that door. And several members of the cast reported seeing what they believed to be a part of the play, a woman dressed in white, which they thought maybe was a character that had been put in at the last minute. Uh, when they started to discuss this with each other, it became apparent very quickly that this wasn't a member of the cast and was, in fact, a manifestation of the White Lady. But they obviously thought that it was a real person, so it, it was a real apparition once again, not just a ghostly figure. Absolutely. In fact, all of the sightings that we know of here in the hall are of the White Lady do report that, that she looks real, looks just like a normal person. Maybe she wanted a part in the play. Would she have been a good actress? Well, she's still hanging around, so who knows? But then again, she does disappear in the middle, which she is... She does indeed, yes. Jess, one of the things I think is amazing about the White Lady is she's from the 14th century. She must be one of the oldest ghosts ever. 
I think it's true to say that she's probably one of the oldest ghosts in Lancashire, and it's interesting because a lot of ghosts seem to, over time, diminish, almost like fade away, but this one is still very much here. About five years ago now, it's 2.30 in the morning, uh, everyone had gone home after a wedding. I was just sat by the Great Hall fire, waiting for the fire to go out uh, with a glass of wine, and I actually had a slap on the back of my head. It was a distinctive slap, and it actually moved my head forward. There was someone in the room with me, and he actually said, I could see your hair move then, what happened? And who do you think that was? Uh, I didn't realise at the time, um, and I wasn't scared at all when it happened, but apparently that is where Lady Dorothy sort of uh, turns up from time to time, so I can only think that it's her. Now, interestingly, the white lady, Dorothy Southworth, wasn't actually killed or murdered. She died a pretty normal death in France, and yet her spirit is seen here at Salisbury Hall in England. Now, her lover, on the other hand, the young de Horton from the opposing uh, de Horton family at Horton Tower, who was butchered here on the lawn just outside the walls of the house, has never been seen. Now, his spirit is felt and sensed by many people, but it's never actually been witnessed. Now, another interesting ghost story in the house actually takes place on this staircase. Uh, and this particular story was reported by a visitor who came to the house for a day out. In fact, lots of the ghost stories are reported by the guests and the visitors. Now, what the lady in question actually said was, as she was walking down the stairs, she felt suddenly she should stop and move to the side because she felt something move past her very, very quickly with force. Did she see what it was? Could it have been the white lady? Well, it could have been the white lady, but uh, there are lots of other ghosts associated with the house, and who knows, perhaps it was one that's yet to be discovered. Now, the fireplace here is also an interesting story. Again, it happened to a visitor, reported by a visitor, an American, who was taking photographs to commemorate her visit. And when she had them, um, taken them home and had them developed, what occurred here in the picture was very interesting, because you could see an outline of a coffin. Is that unusual? Well, ghost photographs are pretty common, but you usually hear about what are called orbs or, you know, streaks of light or smoky shapes. It's quite unusual to have something that you can actually identify that's not an amorphous blob actually as a coffin. Have you seen the photo ever? That's the interesting part of the story. No one's ever seen the photograph that I can find. I've asked lots and lots of people. Nobody seems to have ever seen it. So maybe it's just a story, but stories come from somewhere. I think what makes this house remarkable as a haunted house is not only the fact that its most famous ghost, the White Lady, is many, many centuries old and hasn't or doesn't appear to have faded away, but also the people that actually witnessed this ghost and report it. These are people who are driving past in a car, perhaps walking past or on a bus, who have no prior knowledge sometimes of the ghost and the famous story. They're not paranormal enthusiasts or ghost hunters who've read all about it and are coming here with the intention of looking for a ghost. They're just normal people and they're seeing something incredible. Lady Dorothy and the de Horton boy was very much like a Romeo and Juliet story. There was the forbidden love, the hidden meetings, the tragic, tragic murder of the three soldiers, and then Lady Dorothy ha having died of a broken heart. What a sorry ending. So Lizzie Dean, the maid from the Sun Inn, and Dorothy Southworth from here at Salmsbury Hall, two ladies that died with broken hearts. They didn't choose to let go of their loves, and as a result, they can't completely let go of their lives. They really are haunting, romantic leading ladies. See you next time. Bye-bye. Blinded by duty, he sacrificed body and soul to service. Anthony Hopkins is the butler who realises 